When pro baseball was still played for the fun of it, its reach extended to the oil patch of Oklahoma and the wheat fields of Kansas. Oklahoma traveler Scott Thompson reports tonight on a time when the cry of play ball could still raise a crowd and big league dreams. Senator Parsley and I will win this election and make these Republicans like it. Don't you forget that. At the same time Harry Truman was giving the Republicans hell, Oscar Walterman was doing the same to the batsmen of the KOM League as a fireballing phenom with the Carthage, Missouri Cardinals. And I won 10 to 4, I struck out 14, and Ron Moore was the scout for the Cardinals. He was with us that night and he said, you know, you probably think you pitched the hell of a game, don't you? And I said, well, I thought so. He said, you didn't do anything but throw. <laughs> he said, Down the road, Oscar's fastball left him, along with his big league dream. But he can still stand on the same mound, toe the same rubber, and remember the joy of baseball. What was special about those days? You know, why does somebody want to come back 50 years later and remember? <laughs> Well, my wife asked me that, <laughs> but you know, we had camaraderie. We like we we had a good time among ourselves. They were the boys of the Kansas Oklahoma Missouri League, the lowest rung of minor league baseball, Class D. High school boys mostly, whose raw talent hinted a potential that never panned out. But for eight glorious years, they brought pro baseball to the small towns of the Plains. And for one special weekend, they've come back to the glories of the game that used to be. Play, we played for the love of the game. Fifty years ago, when the KOM League was born, three of those towns were in Kansas, one in Missouri, along with Miami and Bartlesville, Oklahoma. The next year, Independence, Kansas, and Ponca City got teams. And in 1952, as the league was dying, Blackwell, Oklahoma became the final member. Chambers, Jack Whitaker, Lou Skeetis, Mantle, Al Long. Keith Spack was an Independence Yankee in 1949, a teammate of Mickey Mantle the starting pitcher in Mantle's first game. That was a good year. We had a good ball club. Where are you? There you are. There I am there. Ken Bennett was on that team, proud to wear the pinstripes, even in Kansas. Well, the Yankees, you know, the, the Yankees, there's nothing like the Yankees, you know. The tangible memories of the KOM League fit neatly in the conference room of a Holiday Inn. They wore the trappings of the big leagues, the Bartlesville Pirates and the Pittsburgh Browns and the Carthage Cubs, but they were further from the show than anyone else in pro ball and most knew it. I needed about five or ten more miles an hour on my fastball <laughs> and a little hop on it and I might have made it. Here you are right there. Right there in the yep. second row. Mm -hmm. Don Keeter was a catcher. Keeter the catcher they said. Yep. For the Ponca City Dodgers. That's what we had plenty of it was a lot of hustle. He treasures the first ball he ever hit out of Conoco Park. When I was going around second base, I almost tripped. I, I just, all eyes and it was a great feeling. His dream of playing at Ebbets Field died quietly, though it was grand trying. But we sure did enjoy being a Dodger. They stayed in cheap motels, and their uniforms were washed once a week. A month's pay was $125 if they were lucky. Meal money was $2 a day. The Ponca City Dodgers traveled in a bus without floorboards. This weekend, the accommodations are a little nicer, but the hindsight of half a century still haunts. Not to be able to make it to the major leagues, I think, probably affects everybody. The, you think, well, I could have been there. I had that shot and didn't make it. Wayne Benstead and Fred Bade led the league in double plays in 52, then never played again. If you didn't produce within a week, you were gone. You had to yeah. continuously produce uh, because there were guys waiting to get into your shoes. The parks where they played still stand, save for Iola. Some are crumbling and some still shine. Graceful arches stacked by Works Progress men, hand-painted signs on the outfield walls. Each comes with a plaque that boasts of something long ago and far away. They took down the fences. They got the horses going now. Les Harris has come to show his wife where he played third base for the 47 Miami Owls before his field of dreams went to the horses. There was no lights. Uh, which one was, where was home plate? Home plate was down about where the end of the... I'll show you, I'll show you. Right above for it. 
It was all clay on the infield. Making it, in most minds, the worst place to play a game and the worst place to watch one. Still, it was baseball, and that was enough. Yeah, we had the best ball club, and those were the days. And for one last time, those days come back. It was to have been an old-timers game. That's the title Gray Hair brings. But the rains come, and baseball will not tolerate rain. You gonna sign today, Ray, or you gonna hold out? So the boys who battled each other for a spot in the majors must be content with catch. Ready? Bernie Ty will throw his first pitch in 35 years. Every one of these guys is sportsmen, and every one of them are big leaguers. Robert Gordon is throwing again to Joe Buckstead, his catcher on the 52 Bartlesville Pirates. Neither of them made it to the majors. But we, we loved baseball. They've brought their old gloves. They sign the names that will never be whispered in the Hall of Fame. They're on the radio again. Were you sad to see your baseball career go? If I had it all doing again, I'd stay in baseball. That's the greatest time of my life. These guys love the game. Just sit around, talk, smell the glove. <laughs> smell the glove. They blew out knees in Birmingham, elbows in Evansville went to fight in Korea, and their shot at fame slipped away. All right, girls, here we go. Ready, one, two, and... All right, thank you. But they are the guardians of the game as it was, before greed sullied the good name of baseball, before plastic grass and designated hitters and luxury boxes. Baseball was America's favorite pastime, and that's what it was. If you didn't go to the movie theater, you went to the ball game. They didn't make it. But then again, they did. They got to play baseball when that's all that mattered to young men with dreams. In Pittsburgh, Kansas, Scott Thompson, the Oklahoma Traveler. Looks familiar. Wow. That's where I was born. You know, we all have defining moments in our oh, lives. Yes. And, uh, and the those people never made the big leagues, but their defining moment may have been the dream of making right. it. What a reunion that was. Yeah, so marvelous. Story. And and so many of them were able to get together, and it was fun to watch that. It was. A great story. Yes. Jim Giles is going to review our weather here on this Wednesday evening as it's warming up. You betcha. And we have a few isolated thunderstorms out there. Let me show you Doppler 6 radar. Storm pretty heavy now down over LaFleur County around Poto. Those storms are uh, severe off to the south and east of Oklahoma City, not affecting our counties right now. They're moving off to the southeast at about uh, 20 miles per hour. They have issued a severe thunderstorm watch until 11 o'clock tonight for the extreme southern counties of our viewing area. That would be Hughes, Pittsburgh, Latimer, and LaFleur counties. I actually think that much of the severe weather is going to be south of those counties on down into Texas, but we'll keep an eye on it for you anyway. All right. Good. Thank you very much, Jim, and thank you for sharing your time. We hope to see you back here again at 6.